Peter Chow here. Now that it's back to school for a lot of you, it's time for Peter Chow to give you a few tips. If you're a Chinese, all that matters to your parents is that you get good grades. You listen to me, young man. You better do good in the school this year or else I'm gonna put a bamboo tree up your asshole and then let your digestive system shit it out and then I'm gonna put it right back up there except this time, sigh. But there's the right way to get good grades and there's the wrong way to get good grades. The right way is to get good grades without people really knowing that you got good grades. Because as soon as they know you have amazing grades that are way better than everybody else's, that's when the name calling starts. Nerd! You chink! You Asian! Stupid! Why don't you go back to China? But you're Chinese. Shut up! You also don't want to be one of those motherfucking assholes who act like they don't have to try to get good grades. Hey man, when you get on that quiz? Oh, I got an A plus, and I didn't even have to study. Fuck you. The next tip is for all you guys who are most likely going to be rude into a situation where you might have to have sex with a mother bitch. Tip number one, for the rough of Peter Chow, wear a fucking condom. I know it doesn't feel as good as unprotected sex and you feel like you have a garbage bag on your dick, but you know what? You're going to fake me in the wrong run. Number one thing that it prevents, herpes. Number two thing that you're going to thank me for is you're not going to do a baby daddy before you're ready to be one. You don't know where that pussy has been and you certainly don't know who has been all up in that, as the black people say. And some of you may say to yourself, all oh, sad and shit, that doesn't happen to me. Girls never want to rook my way or talk to me. Well, of course not, motherfucker, not with that attitude. You have to be confident, you have to be charming and not be afraid to talk to a girl. I mean, come on, it's just a girl. Just finger girl like an object, like a toaster or a piece of meat. Wait. That's not really bad. Just shut. If you don't have money, ask your parents for some money or get a job and buy yourself some affordable clothes. And you know what's affordable? The Chow outside t-shirt. Lie, 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 lie on districtlines.com slash pyro movie. Get yours today. Don't be afraid that you'll get rejected. That shit happens. Do a little bit of trial and error. I mean, guaranteed, if you walk around the school, you ask a hundred girls, at least one is going to say yes. Some advice for all you guys who don't have as much trouble with the girls, even when you go downtown Chinatown on a girl, make sure her pussy doesn't smell like an uncooked piece of salmon. My saying is that if a girl's Pussy smells like chow, get the fuck out. Ah, you like that? And for the girls that low, you're going to get some action in the downstairs area. Make sure your pussy doesn't smell like the shit. What you have to do is call pussy upkeep. You make sure that your pussy is always fresh, ripe, and good for the ripping. Do what you gotta do, you know? Take a shower, take a bath, use some Vagisil, I don't care. And same goes for you guys. You want a bro job, right? Of course you do. Make sure you wash your spring roll. Think to yourself, did you pee in the last five minutes? If the answer is yes, wash your dick. The next tip is to participate in activities at school without becoming a job. Nine times out of ten, a job is always a douchebag, and a douchebag is always a bully, and a bully is always a dick. Being the short Asian kid at school, I definitely got bullied a lot. But you have to think to yourself down the road, you're going to be way smarter, you're going to rent a better job, and you're going to be way more happy. You know what's going to happen to these people that bury you, like the jocks and all those people? The jocks will think that they can actually play hockey, basketball, volleyball, and actually think that it's going to go somewhere. They're not going to be able to do those things at the professor or rapper. So what are they going to do? Work at McDonald's when they're 30 years old. If you want to talk bullying, I still get bullied right here on the interwebs. But in the end, I know I'm better than all my haters. What exactly do these haters who tell me my videos suck do in their life, exactly. Absolutely laughing. If I go to a profile of somebody who is hating on me, guess what they have done? Zero videos, zero everything. They are a big fat motherfucking zero. Whereas me, I have made 211 videos. And you know what? I have no plan of stopping anytime soon. Haters are the exact same thing as bullies in school. They are motherfucking assholes that will never amount to anything. So in the end, I know a lot of you are dreading the fact that you have to go back to school. But guess what? Make the best out of the time you have in school. Make the most friends that you can make. Most importantly, be yourself. Don't try to be anybody else. Be the best you you can be. So if you write this video and you write Peter Chow and you rub pussies that don't smell like uncooked salmon, boom, give me a thumbs up. One thing that I do want to share with you guys is that I am trying to relaunch the Chow Nation into a mini series. So if you want to help contribute, go to indiegogo.com slash Chow Nation and contribute an amount that you are comfortable with. Because if you contribute $25 or more, I am going to tweet you, follow you on Twitter, and I'm going to give you a shout out in my vlog. I will be right back here on Friday with a brand new weekly lose roundup. Until then, stop drinking the haterade and start drinking the bubble tea. Ciao outside, motherfucker. As you rough me, we're under pressure. Seven billion people in the world trying to feed it. Keep it together. Smile on your face even though your heart is